Pompeii. So this is our second to last night and we're just sailing out of uh, Koto in Montenegro. Uh, it's been the first day that it's been a little bit iffy on the weather really. Um, we, we haven't really done any sunbathing. We, uh, also we had to tender off this morning which we don't normally have to do but there were three ships in. Uh, there was one, um, a Thompson ship or two years then now called which was docked where we docked last year. And then there was a P&O uh, that tended in from further out than we did, and uh, and we tended in, uh, which wasn't too far. But uh, the 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 port here, the harbour here, is absolutely stunning. Uh, it took us quite a long time to get to where we were tendering because you, you just come through these wonderful mountainous regions, um, and and it's just absolutely beautiful um, and most of the day it's been quite reasonable weather sunny um, and, and and pleasant not hot but pleasant so we went into the old old town and uh, wandered around sat and had a glass of wine uh, as you do and um, uh, very nice the, the old city is just beautiful the wall city it's got some incredible um, architecture and lots of little shops and kind of um, uh, boutique type shops and loads of cats if you don't like cats don't come to Koto there are so many cats it's there's a cat museum it's really the cat capital and uh, and they're all well looked after they're not all scrawny cats that are kind of scraggly old things with fleas they're all looked after the town just loves them and um, and so they adopt these cats and they feed them and look after them and uh, and they've become quite a feature so you can buy cat souvenirs and so on so that's quite a, a feature of Kotor. Now what you can do is there's an open top bus we did look at the open top bus it's 20 euros for an adult and uh, you it, it basically takes you along the shore which we'd seen coming in on the ship so we decided not to bother we also thought about the boat trip but we figured 15 euro to go on a boat trip when again we've seen this whole area from this from the, the ship because it sails quite slowly as you can see we're on our way out now towards the open sea and it's going to take us quite a long time hi alan hi kate um good to have you on um and anybody else that's on hazel i think um, great to have you on live with me so uh, yeah it's it was a nice day we went back to the same restaurant that we had the glass of wine at and had a wonderful fresh sea bream the waiter cooked it they cooked it we had to select it i'm like he said come and choose your fish so <laughs> i went up and uh, it was however already dead uh, in an ice cabinet and uh, <laughs> they all looked the same to me so i just picked one and said I don't know, I don't know the difference between fish, they're fish, right? So just picked one and uh, he took it away, prepared it, then brought it to the table and filleted it, took the head off and the tail off and skinned and filleted it at the table, which was, uh, which was beautiful. And it was just so good. I mean, it just melted in your mouth. And, uh, and so that was really lovely. And we bumped into some people from the P&O ship. They were sitting at the next table to us. So that was quite nice discussing where they'd been, where they were going and so on. So, so yeah, that's KOTOR, just beautiful. Uh, there are, of course, some organized trips that the ship does. We didn't do any of them. Um, and then we came back to the ship and uh, just sat in the sun for about half an hour uh, as it was dying. And, uh, and then went back to the cabin to get ready for this evening. And I just wanted to come out early enough that um, I could show you the, the beautiful scenery as we sail out. Um, you know, you can see that there's clouds in the sky. It's, it's, not, it, it's not very nice now. I mean, it's not cold, but it's certainly not warm now uh, anymore. So, but yeah, beautiful, a lovely one to end. And we've got one more to go, that's split in Croatia tomorrow so we're looking forward to that we can't actually remember if we've been there before so it's gonna be quite interesting we're planning on going off first thing and uh, having a look round, and then I'll report back tomorrow night on what we've seen there and the things to do so yeah so it's um uh, it's it's sad it's getting to the end and you'd think that after 24 nights on ship and four nights away that it will be 
that we'd be glad to be coming back, but it's really quite sad. Uh, we, we've loved it, we've loved every minute of it. I have to say that there's been nothing that I would say, oh, this is awful. Um, you know, as with every holiday, every trip, there are some little niggles. The biggest niggles really are the moaning English. Um, <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> there are some people that they make very sweeping statements and that really annoys me. But, uh, but generally, no, generally the people have been wonderful. The staff are just brilliant, I have to say. And, uh, and so we, we are going to be very sad to leave. This, uh, the musica is going in for a refit, I think, at the end of this season. We sailed on the orchestra, which is exactly the same as this, but it's already been refitted. So we kind of know what it's going to look like when it, when it has been. It's one of the smaller ships, so it doesn't have all the facilities that some of the larger ships have, but, uh, but it's friendly and we've just loved it. It's been big enough for us um, and we've, uh, we've loved it. Actually, we thought, yes, today I said to Alan, we must go and look at our photos. He said, oh, we'll go tomorrow. He said, oh yeah, but it's not open, is it, until the evening? And I said, no, but it's been open every day for like two weeks while we've been at sea. He said, that's true. So any time we could have gone down and looked at them, we just haven't. So that tells you, you know, we've been, we've never been at a loose end. We've never been in a situation where we thought, oh, what can we do? There's always something to do. There's always someone to talk to. There's, uh, you're, you're never sitting around thinking, what can I do? So uh, recommend this trip to anybody. Um, and, uh, uh, and this ship, actually, it's, it's small but, but lovely. So yeah, talk to you tomorrow about Split. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to share and like it or whatever. And, um, and I'll do my last one. Well, maybe next to last one tomorrow night. Talk to you then. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye.